بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد الله تبارك وتعالى is al khalik he's the creator of the heavens and earth and he doesn't share in his creation and this power of creation with anyone he subhanahu wa ta'ala is a creator of all things subhana and all things they submit to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not created his creation in jest. He created it for a divine purpose, which is a part of his divine hikmah and wisdom. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitabihi al kareem, wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wal insil li abudun. I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need of us, we are in need of Him. Nahnu fuqara wa huwa aghniya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is self sufficient, but we are in total need and dependency on Him. And we are the fuqir, we are the ones who are in need. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for His assistance. We praise Him and we thank Him for our health and the ability to be to be in a position to worship Him alone and use our faculties, our intellect, our bodies to praise Him and pray to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as Ibn Kathir rahimahullah ta'ala said in his tafsir, after the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمْرِ لَا تَسْجِدُوا لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ وَشَدُوا لِلَّهِ أَلَذِي خَلَقَهُنَّ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ يَاهُوا تَعْبُدُونَ Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that from his signs is the sun and the moon. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ is the, uh, the evening and the day, the night and the day. The sun and the moon. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders, He says, Wala tasjidu li shams, and do not prostrate to the to the sun. Wala lil qamr, and not to the moon. Wasjidu lillahi aladhi khalaqahunna in kuntum yahu ta'abudun. Worship and prostrate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who created them, if it is Him who you truly worship. So that is a call for Ahlul Iman, those people who claim to have Iman. Iman Billah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that we worship him subhanahu wa ta'ala alone that our worship is not to anyone or anything else and not to his created beings and not to the sun or the moon they are fascinating signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but they are not to be worshipped they are we take lessons from this creation from the beauty of this creation from the vastness of this creation but we only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we direct our worship only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty the creator of all this great majesty subhana and as we mentioned uh, Ibn Kathir he said in his tafsir wal khaliq والخالق لهذه الأشياء هو مستحق للإبادة and the creator of all of those things he is worthy of worship he is truly worthy of worship الخالق لهذه الأشياء that's that's beautiful beautiful إبارة by uh, Ibn Kathir رحمه الله تعالى الخالق لهذه الأشياء the one who created all of those things he is worthy of worship. He is worthy uh, 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 of worship in, in, in reality, and, and, and that is his right. He has the right to be worshipped. Subhana. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who worship Him in a manner that pleases Him. Subhana. 
وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم